So in today's video, we're gonna cover what you need to know if you're moving to Knoxville and you're gonna have a student who is going to be entering the Knox County school system in the upcoming 24 and 25 school year. My name is Todd Jewell and me and my team receive calls and emails every day. People just like you looking to make that move to Knoxville, we'd love to hear from you. We don't care if you're looking to move immediately, if you're not gonna be moving for a year, we wanna go ahead and get the process started so that your move can be as easy and stress-free as possible. Let's get started. So Knox County is home to over 60,000 students, 91 schools, each dedicated to nurturing and developing young minds to their full potential. At the heart of this district is a commitment to providing students with the instruction, the resources, and the support needed for each to achieve their individual goals. Now, one shining example is the LNN STEM Academy, where more than 600 students are engaged in a rigorous curriculum that focuses on science, technology, engineering, and math, which are the core of a STEM education. This commitment extends well beyond the classroom with opportunities for students to take part in arts education, demonstrating a balanced and approach to learning. But it's not just about academics. Knox County Schools boast a vibrant extracurricular landscape, including state championship athletics, performing arts, and even robotics. These programs are designed to foster skills such as teamwork, leadership, and critical and creative thinking, which are invaluable for students' future endeavors. Moreover, the Career and Technical Education Program deserves special mention. It equips students with the academic and technical skills necessary for future careers. The program also emphasizes work-based learning experiences and the opportunity to earn industry-recognized credentials, setting students up for success beyond high school. So whether you have a child who is an aspiring scientist, artist, or athlete, Knox County Schools can provide a supportive environment for them to excel. By investing in such diverse educational pathways, Knox County Schools not only help students as individuals, but they ensure a thriving community for years to come. Let's discuss just a couple of the key dates coming up here in the 24-25 school year. So school begins in the 24 school year on August the 8th. It's a half day, so if you are wanting to make sure that your student is here and in class on day one, which is a half day, you will need to make sure that that's all in place by August the 8th. We have a couple early release dates, which are August the 14th and September the 18th. Fall break in the 2024 year will run from October the 7th through the 11th. And then the Thanksgiving holidays in the upcoming year will run from November 27th through the 29th. And then we will have winter break that begins on December 23rd of 2024 and runs through January 2nd of 2025. So that may help you plan just a little bit out in advance as we talk in this video about some things that you're going to need to do to get your student registered for that upcoming year if you're planning on moving here over this summer. What documents are going to be necessary to get your student enrolled when you move here over the summer for the fall? You're going to need a list of these documents according to that enrollment page. And they are a certified birth certificate, a proof of residence, and a Tennessee Health Immunization Certificate. That Tennessee Health Health immunization certificate can be filled up by your health provider, uh, your physician or health department. And what they can do is they can transfer those immunization records directly over to a Tennessee form for you and then provide that for you. So that's something good to know while you're still where you are that you're going to need that form on a Tennessee form to be able to get your child enrolled and started in school. In Tennessee, and this is a state law, your child cannot start school without this immunization record. It must be on file and it must be on a Tennessee form. You also are going to need a record of a physical exam on a Tennessee child health record. And the website and Knox County Schools can help you with that. A lot of that information can be provided by your health care provider where you are now or when you get here before school starts. Those are easy to get. But the immunization record, very important. Get those records while you're where you are. Get that transferred over to a Tennessee form because you're going to need that and some of you need to do before you move here. One of the most important things that I hear from a lot of you as go 
Broadway's children is which schools they're going to be zoned for. And I know for a lot of you, we are looking in certain areas for certain zonings. I will do my very best to make sure that the home that you choose is zoned for the school that you are looking to enroll your child in. But at the same time, I want you to verify that yourself. If you're moving here and you're not working with us, please verify this information. We have a website below in the comments that you can click on and it is uh, part of where the enrollment page will take you that you can verify by putting in the address of the home exactly what schools that home at that address is zoned for. Now, I wanna clarify for you that when you're on this enrollment page, you're gonna see enrollment, but you're also gonna see this transfer period here in Knoxville. What the transfer period here is is this. If you live in a area and you want your child to go to a different school that they technically aren't zoned for or one of the STEM academies or whatever, then there's a process and a window for application for that. So if you're someone who is here and got your student enrolled and then you want to set up or apply for a transfer or a specific school, you can do that. That doesn't really apply yet to many of you that are watching this video, but I do want you to know that we have school choice here in the county and the schools do have limited availability for that and space and all those kind of things. So there's a lot of particulars you would need to work with the school system on, check on and all those things on your own. But at the same time, that is an option once you get here, if your child does decide that they would be a better fit uh, based on their academic needs or whatever for a different school inside the Knox County system. So what do you need to know to prepare for that first day of school? Well, I do want to give you a date and that's August the 6th. August the 6th of 2024 is an orientation day for all sixth and ninth grade incoming students. So if you have a student who's going to be in the sixth grade, which would be a middle school or ninth grade, which would be our high schools, then they have an orientation day on August the 6th, 2024. So if you can be here, have them enrolled and ready to go, it will get them started on the very front end with all the other folks and other students who are coming into that school. So extracurricular activities. We need to cover extracurricular activities. If you have a student who is involved in extracurricular activities, and that could be anything from our sports programs, maybe they're in band, just about all of our different extracurricular activities. Well, one of the things that goes on, if they're an incoming freshman, sophomore, junior, senior in some of these programs, especially sports, there will be activities that go on this summer leading up to next year, whether it be practice or camps or whatever. So one of the things that I encourage you to do is get involved early, know where you're going to be purchasing, and at least narrow down those areas so that when you've done that, or if you can go ahead and purchase the home early in the summer, that's even better, or late spring, because what you can do is go ahead and reach out to the school, reach out to the coach, reach out to the director of that program, let them know you have an incoming student who is going to want to participate in that program so that you can open those lines of communication and they won't hopefully miss in the activities leading up to the school year over the summer that they need to participate in so that when they do get here, they don't feel like they're behind. They can go ahead and start building those relationships and those friendships that are so important for making them feel comfortable and happy here in their new school and in their new home. One of the last things that I want to talk about with you is the community involvement and the parent involvement in our schools here. So a lot of you, as I'm working with you leading up to this time, late spring, early summer, when a lot of you are planning on moving, is you talk about how to get involved in your community. Where's a great area to do that? Well, school involvement is perfect for that. So if you happen to have a student who's going into the Knox County schools, the more you can be involved in our communities are really involved in our schools. They're very supportive of our schools. There's a lot of parent-teacher organizations you can be involved in. So I would encourage you as parent to get involved in the schools really early because through that involvement process, you won't only benefit your student and it won't only benefit the schools, but it will benefit you also because it will allow you to start making friendships and relationships here in your new community as well. So I want to once again encourage you to visit the Knox County Schools website, look at their enrollment page, look through all of their information. It's a really good website. It's very comprehensive and it will provide you with answers to almost every question you're going to have. And if it doesn't, they're going to give you a way to contact them so you can get those answers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it was really helpful to you. We try to be helpful. If you haven't subscribed, please do that below. And as well, give us a thumbs up. We also enjoy getting those. And until next time, guys, can't wait to see you around Knoxville soon.